Hi Deirdre here um, and we're going to take a look at doing uh, profit margins. Uh, so again on this sheet we're going to use naming as opposed to absolute cell addressing because it's the more modern way uh, of naming things. So uh, up here we're going to start naming things. So this is the desired uh, gross profit margin. So we'll right mouse click uh, and define name down the bottom here, define name. And it automatically picked up the, the thing here. Um, so we could shorten it if we want to. Maybe we might just call it gross profit margin. Uh, and uh, click on OK. So that's fine. Uh, and the VAT rate, right mouse click uh, and define name. And if there was, now in this case, it didn't come up. So I'm just going to call it VAT, uh, maybe Ireland. Uh, OK, and that's grand uh, and it comes up. OK, so that's fine. Uh, those uh, cells are named for us. So in here, it's telling us the maths. So I've put in a little comment into these cells so that if anyone gets confused about the maths, uh, this is how we'll do it. So this is me showing you how to do it in Excel. So this is going to be the cost price divided by one minus the margin. OK, so one is 100 percent. So 100 percent minus 60 percent. So that'll turn out to be 40 percent. So it'll be the cost price divided by 40 percent. OK, and that'll give us uh, our price before that. Um, so because we wanted to do the uh, uh, subtraction first and then do the division, we have to put brackets around the one minus the margin. So we'll start off and we'll say equals this here uh, divided by. Now we wanted to, to, to do this, uh, the subtraction first. So it's one minus uh, the margin and close your brackets. So B6 divided by open bracket one minus the gross profit margin, close your bracket and OK. OK, and you get 1.5. So that works out beautifully and click and drag down. OK, so this one here is going to be the price before that uh, minus uh, the cost price. OK, so equals the price before that minus the cost price. OK, and that's the actual margin, the amount of money you're going to make and we click and drag uh, down. So the price after VAT, that's going to be the price before VAT multiplied by one plus the VAT rate, which is 23%. So that's 100, one is 100%, 100% plus 23% is 123%. So it's the price before VAT uh, multiplied by 123%. And because we want to do the addition first and not the multiplication, if you remember back to your bedness or your BIMDAS, uh, you have to use brackets to make it do the addition first because normally it would do the multiplication first. So that's why we use the brackets. So equals uh, the price before that uh, multiplied by, open your brackets, one plus and the VAT rate and close your brackets. OK, so that's C6 multiplied by, open your brackets, one plus the VAT rate, close your brackets. And that's C6 multiplied by 123%. And that's working beautifully. Uh, and click and drag down. And we'd have to put on uh, our cell formatting and all the rest. So click in here. Uh, and then on the home tab, we might just go with two decimal places. Or if you want the little euro symbol, uh, click on that one there and put on your borders and shading. OK, and click in here and put on your borders. And I always go in and go again with thick outside border. And you want to put on some shading. So I'm holding down control and clicking and dragging down here. And I think I went with a light green or something. Um, and the same here. And then put on some borders. OK, so let me let me get this ready for printing. Um, so uh, let's go to file and print and see what we have at the moment. And you can see part of the notes and everything are printing out. That's no good. OK, let's go back in here. We're going to select this over here and we're going to set that as our print area. So go to page layout, print area, set print area. OK, um, and go file and print. OK, and it's up here. It's a bit uh, a bit too small and maybe turn the page on its side might be an idea. So let's go to page setup. Let's go to landscape. Let's increase it maybe to 150 percent and let's for, uh, center it on the page margins, center on page horizontally and vertically and OK. So you flip the page round. It's centered from top to bottom and from left to right. And I brought it up to 100 percent. We're good to go. OK, 